Indiana coming with a blitz. Brady has time and a man wide open. Marcus Knight is to the 30 and knocked out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Mike McGrath made the stop. The hoop movement and flags. Not a lot of experience and what that leads to is long drives like we've seen here in the first drive. You've got to be able to come up with some turnovers if you're going to give up a lot of long drives like this. Thomas is in. Touchdown, Michigan. I'm sure, sure Lloyd Carr this week really challenged both fronts on his football team, his offensive line and his defensive line, said, hey, for us to win the rest of our games and have a good season, you guys better start playing better. I'm proud the Big Ten will tell you he is one of the toughest players in the Big Ten. He takes an awful lot of hits and he keeps on ticking. Gaddis in motion. Randall L. Little screen pass. Osika lost the football. Michigan's got it. James Whitley stripped it and recovered it. Whitley does an outstanding job getting around his block. If Indiana can block him, then right around their own 40-yard line. Delvern very accurate. He's the short man. Hayden Epstein is the long bomber in terms of field goal kickers. And that one sneaks its way through. So the Wolverines trying to bounce back, and so far they are. Michigan on top of Camp Cameron's Hoosiers, 10-0. This is back, Drew Hagan. Anthony Thomas, touchdown. And that's what usually happens when it rains, it pours. You usually see a turnover and a big play the very ne next snap because the other team, Michigan, is going to go for the throat anytime they get a quick turnover like that. If the, if they had ball in the midfield, maybe go for a deep pass. There you see Thomas just all around the right side of the court. Andy Payne kicks it. Thomas wrestles it away at the 11. He lost the ball. It's loose. And the Hoosiers, who's got it? Indiana's got it. Gun on third and goal. Randall L. Flushed. Throwing. Touchdown, Hoosiers! Jerry Dorsey. An intense miss. You can't diagram with anything with Randall L. He does it all himself. First down, Brady. Terrell the catch, and Terrell is loose, and he might go. Terrell is inside the 10, and he's down to the 8-yard line. To come back, they, they're usually very good about playing up to their ability, getting a lead, and keep building on that lead. These last few weeks, they get behind, and then they start feeling they have to play. Second and goal. Brady to throw. Has his man into the end zone. Touchdown. Benny Jackru, the freshman tight end. And the Wolverines answer. The Wolverines answer, but I think that 
whole drive was set up by the kicker on the kickoff, sending the ball out of bounds. Michigan getting the ball at the 35 as opposed to saying, hey, we want to make you return one like the last time, and they end up turning it over. First and goal, Thomas. Anthony Thomas is in. Touchdown, Michigan. Two straight scores by Michigan, and the Wolverines are back on top. Football game, you always look, you have to look to the next play and what you're going to do. Randall L. Scrambles, looking, throwing down the field. Got a man, Dorsey, he's fine, he's touchdown. Maybe a factor late in the ball game. Thomas is out. Brady, a bullet that's caught by Marcus Knight. He's at midfield, and Knight is down to the 48-yard line. Right now, before Indiana can get the ball back. Thomas, the lone tailback. Here comes the blitz. Thomas on a draw. He's outside. He could go. He's out of bounds. Anthony Thomas to the five. Mike McGrath made the stop. downfield 21 seconds still a lot of time on the clock for those type of plays not for the majority of offenses in college football from 20 yards Epstein it is good Hayden Epstein drills it and Michigan is on top by three eight seconds left. Woo. The Wolverines on top. The final seconds when we get back to Bloomington. Number 14, Michigan. 34, Indiana. 31. Hail Mary here. They'll probably line up all three of their wide receivers left side of the field. Randall will take a deep drop throw it as high and as far as he possibly can. Michigan has called the timeout. He's going to put them in the football game because you want your tallest, fastest, and your most sure-handed receivers in this ball game right here. Here we go. Antoine Randall -O will get a running start. And away it goes. Into the end zone. Jump ball. Deflected. Incomplete. The Hoosiers had a shot at it. Jerry Dorsey, I think, may have gotten a hand on it. And this one is history. good friends. They worked together on that Michigan staff for 10 years. Lloyd Carr will escape Bloomington with a nail-biting 34.